up guys um, let's uh, let's take a look at some of these replays here um, this one is a battle that I did with uh, the new deck I was trying out that did not involve the Sparky um, and then the other two are friendly battles, um, same deck. Uh, so let's see if I can go undefeated. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I know you're going to comment after you watch it, but I was kind of skeptical of the deck a little bit. And man, oh man, if he hadn't have dropped that minion horde, whew, those double P.E.K.K.A.s, man, they could have been nasty. And then I ended up getting the, uh, the arrows a little too late there. Um, so I'm already down a tower, and at this point I'm like, well... I think this is, yeah, this is the first battle that I used this deck on. <clears throat> so I was like, well, shit. This deck can be good. I mean, because I've got quite a bit of damage, but um, it's hard to defend sometimes. So I don't know. But that little, the little skeleton horde there. It's tough. It's tough to beat. So, and that Prince did work too. And unfortunately, I missed one of those minions with my arrows, which is cool because, I mean, I caught back up with him on that push and I took uh, probably two thirds of his health points off of his tower so that was a pretty good push and then <laughs> those little friggin uh, skeletons though man look at that so now it's like what are you gonna do because now my musketeer is just sitting there banging away and boom tower down so now I gotta defend against the prince basically which is pretty easy to do using the minion horde so I mean not the minion horde the skeleton horde thing so as you see I was able to get that second tower and get the W there with the two crown so let's check out this friendly battle here between myself and Gravedigger, which this is a pretty good little battle. Uh, he did really well. And I did not know that it is like tournament rules when you do friendly battle because I am level nine and I'm actually level 10. So I don't, I never really do a lot of friendly battles, so this is something new for me to try out. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Now he does, he counters pretty well. And I was trying to be slick there and drop off the hog um, on, the, on the right, which it worked fairly well for me. And then I'm able to get, I think, two, nope, just one hit off with my mini P.E.K.K.A. Now, he's got a severe elixir uh, lead on me because pretty soon he will have two elixir pumps. And that freaking zap spell, you know, that almost screwed me up. Yeah, love that mirror. Because they, they do quite a bit of damage, them little skeleton guys. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm thinking, shit, what am I going to do? He's got a wizard. 
and Spear Goblin. So I'm going to drop the Valkyrie there and hopefully she takes out the Wizard and she does. So then my Valkyrie also takes out the Musketeer, which is well. I mean, good. Well, okay, see, now he has... Oh, well, I thought he was going to have the Elixir. Well, he will until that one blows up. But I still have it. <clears throat> and then now he's just going to start obliterating me on Elixir. But how is he going to stop a Mini P.E.K.K.A. and a Musketeer? And boom. That was a wicked, wicked push. And then my Valkyrie is able to stop that. And now he has two cannons on the right. But my Musketeer is just sitting there pecking away. And he has a lot of elixir. So now I'm just kind of waiting for him. Because I need to play defense. Uh, to try to block what he's going to do. And... I, the mirror card works is I think what makes this work because like that I was able to get the three crown because I was able to defend the right side when he had a pretty decent push coming um, and then let's watch this battle between myself and FaZe Danny Same deck, and his, I believe, is kind of similar, but we'll see. So, he did not want to start, so I decided to start, and yeah, okay, he has a free spell, so that's going to make things a little harder, and like at that point, I'm just like, oh crap. But he didn't really get that much damage off. Only a couple hundred points. Um, and I'm like, you know, once I took out that Valkyrie and my Prince died, I'm like, okay, this is going to be a little bit difficult, I think. So I was kind of confused on what exactly I was going to do to try to beat this guy. So when, whenever I get confused like that, okay, and I wasn't expecting that tombstone either, which sucks. And especially since he dropped the minion horde, the little mini minion horde on there, but that's okay. Because my musketeer and my tower can take that out before any damage is done. And then I'm going to drop a second musketeer, which is pretty good to take out that wizard with the mini P.E.K.K.A. behind it and then that hog is not going to get very far at all. So at that point I'm thinking okay I should be able to get a couple of hits off on the tower but no because he dropped the tombstone again. So I'm like shit I have like no damage done what am I going to do? He's able to defend against me pretty well. And then I drop this stinking skeleton horde like a like a retard uh, when he drops a Valkyrie. And that was like very stupid. But this time I was able to drop the Valkyrie, um, which I thought was just going to take out the minion horde. So I dropped two Valkyries. And then it's like, what the fuck, right? So the minion horde is focused on the Valkyrie, and then he drops the freeze spell. And I'm like, some fucking bitch. There goes my prince. So I'm going to have to drop... <laughs> that was a very well-placed arrow there. So I'm like, shit, this is pretty tight. So I decide to do what I do best and push the, the right and the left at the same time. So I'm able to do some pretty good damage with my Hog Rider. And then I use the mirror and use the Hog on the left as well. And he freezes and misses the Hog and that is where he makes his mistake. And I get the win. So that was a really good game. And FaZe Danny did a really good job there 
that was actually a pretty fun battle. But so far, I am undefeated with that deck. So um, feel free to try it out and uh, let me know how you fare with it. And I am in Arena 7 using it, so that says something. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. So, you know, let me know what you think about that deck in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.